U.S. immigration laws recently uh, uh, have uh, um, made it very difficult to bring uh, Hindu Hindu uh, uh, Hindu Purohits and Pandits uh, because the criteria of what come what constitutes clergy has been redefined. Uh, to fit a, 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 a Jure Christian or an Abrahamic notion of what constitutes clergy. This is, this is a very problematic thing. And Umar Mysorekar, who runs one of the major temples in, uh, in uh, New York, has uh, made the statement that uh, in her estimate, like 60 to 70 percent of uh, temples may be shut down because we won't be able to bring uh, people uh, because this is a discriminatory clause. So there is obstacles that we have to deal with. There is huge resistance in changing textbooks, portrayal of Hinduism. Uh, Kamlesh Ji is here, I know many people here are involved in fighting these battles. Uh, the textbooks, the, we have become aware of the problems which we were not aware of 10 years ago. Uh, we've become aware that these problems are very serious. We've started doing reviews of textbooks, portrayals, and the portrayals are absolutely horrendous. And then when you go to the, the, the authorities, you get the run around, they're very polite, they're very diplomatic, they love you, you're very quaint, you're very exotic, but when you want concrete, tangible change, it is not very easy to get. So we have, from diplomatic approaches in Virginia to litigation in California and various other things going on, so this is a very, it's not it's a simple matter that, you know, everybody loves us and the matter, and the matter will be solved, because uh, Irish were not allowed to enter white unions because uh, the, the white unions were Protestant, Anglo controlled, and so the Irish were not allowed to enter join white unions. So this book, How the Irish Became White, is about how they were classified, uh, after a lot of fighting, they got classified as white so they could qualify to be in the white unions. This is a very big fight which went on for decades. Then there's also a book, How the Jews Became White Folks. The Jews were not white. And so it wasn't easy, it wasn't like everybody loved them and all that. So now Indians have to pay that price, we have to get organized. The Jews had a lot of funding, a lot of institutions they built, tough. And they, 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 it was not like you come and America just welcomes you. So if you think that way, you're naive. You have to, Americans are exceedingly fair. And if you build a case, Americans are very open-minded. But you have to build a case. It's, they, they won't just give it to you on a silver platter. You have to work for it. And you have to earn your place in the American tapestry as uh, American uh, Hindus uh, who demand respect in the textbooks, who, who demand uh, media should be fair when they are talking about uh, Hindu festival, they ought to understand what it is. I work with the Religion Newsletters Association, uh, which is based in New York. They have 20,000 journalists who are members. And they have courses and courses on how to, how to write about sensitively about Islam, and how to write sensitively about this one, that one. And they are looking for Hindu groups to sponsor a course so that they can sensitize journalists around the country. And they have no such course, no history of such a course ever being taught about Hindus from a Hindu point of view. 